Okay, today we're going to go over the electrical system that I have in my runaway camper. I'm going to go over first what comes with it standard, and then most of this equipment has been added by somebody else, but I'm going to let you know what what I have in here and what it, where it can be found in Amazon to order if you wanted to make up a system just like this. This here is a system that basically is like a bigger camper where you bring in your 120 volts and then you have a converter that tur turns it into 12 volt and that 12 volts used throughout the camper and that makes it easier to, to run everything off of a battery if you need to so we're going to go over the system and I'll start off with the system that comes with the camper okay the system that comes with the camper is this set up here where I'll show you the plug there's a plug on the outside where you plug up a three prong plug and it brings your 120 volt uh, power from the, your power pole at your campsite into your camper. And uh, once it comes inside of here, it comes in here. And all it does is come up to your, you have a power strip here. And if you've got just a cool camp, that's all you'll have is just the one power strip. Now if you've got the range runner like I do, You'll have another core that runs back here to the back, and you'll have another power strip here in the back. And you can see where I've got the power strip in the back. So that's all you have in normally in your normal setup. And then you have your plug from your air conditioner that comes over and plugs into that power strip. And like I say it's strictly 120, and you have to run for that power pole. There's no way to run any kind of batteries or anything off of that the way it comes from the factory. So now we're going to go over the system that I have, and I, I really like this system, but I want to explain to you step by step how it all works. So the system that I have added to mine is basically a plug that plugs into the actual 120 that comes with the camper. It comes down here to this, this is considered a converter. What that does is convert your 120 into 12 volt. And this power, I think it's power work, works system is hooked in through the back and basically it runs down into this fuse box and this is a 12 volt fuse box that everything runs off of and from that 12 volt it runs through a there's a cutoff switch here and uh it runs it actually runs the 120 volt or you can turn it completely off or you can actually flip it over and run everything off this 12 volt and so what this is, at that point, it has a battery that's set up. And in my case, I've got an 18 amp hour um, lithium battery. I'm not sure in the future if I'm going to have to go bigger on that or not, but we're going to give this a try and see how this, how this performs. Again, in my case, I have this um, hookup where it, basically I have a 12 volt light. It's an LED light that runs across the top. So that runs off of this system. I also have a uh, I have a fantastic fan that runs off of that same system back here in the back. But I actually have a variable speed controller on that where you can change that to different speeds. And that helps out a lot when you want to turn it down low at night when you don't want to hear it a lot. And then also I have a I've got a couple of setups. In my case, I've got another hookup that runs down here. And hooks up to a a setup here that has USB ports and I have more USB ports and I have a cigarette lighter type setup here and that's that's set up for the 12 volt and it runs off that battery or if you're running um, if you're running off of shore power and you're you've got your converter on it's converting that power over to that 12 volt and then you can run that same stuff of that Okay, and then the next thing I have is is an actual inverter, and that's what this little small unit up here is. And this takes the power of the battery, the 12 volt, and it, it converts it back into 120. And this is the plug that goes over to my actual 120 plug over here, and I also have some USBs that run off of that, and that powers up that system. And also lets me use this regular 120 TV. I don't have a 12 volt TV in here. So that will run that. That battery will run that TV and a few small things inside of here. 
and uh, it doesn't power up this the strip here it only powers up this little plug right here and that little plug over here on this far side and it won't run the air conditioner there's not nearly enough power in that little battery to run the air conditioner so that's kind of the system that I have here and like I say I'm gonna list these things you can pick up at Amazon but this makes it a nice system uh, if you want to go boondocking and just be able to power a few things or if you want to plug in and you want to actually use the the converter here uh, that the only thing that this here that I'm not sure about how well it works is this actually runs a charge and it can actually charge this but it's kind of uncontrolled I don't I'm not really sure about how well it controls that so that's something I'm not sure if I want to use that for charging the battery or not but it can do it if you needed to we just got to keep an eye on it but uh, that's about all I have on this video um, just wanted to show you my system I have here. Like I say, this system was done by the previous owner for the most part. Now, I did add a, a con, uh, controller here. I'll show you, or I added a plug on the outside. And that allows me to plug in my solar on the side. And that plugs in and comes straight in through here and goes straight into my battery. So that solar system will keep that battery charged up, hopefully. It's only 100 watt, but it, I think it's enough that it'll, it'll hopefully take that up if I'm not using too much power. So that's about all I have on this video, and I hope that uh, helps you out if you want to make a quick system. I guess I haven't really added up the cost of this system, and I'll post it here when, once I go to Amazon and see about roughly what that this system would cost if you were to put it together. And uh, that's about all I have, and we'll talk to you again on another one of these RV shorts.